Also developing tonight, a story out of Colorado where Senator Mark Udall is under pressure tonight amid suggestions that his office pressured the Colorado Division of Insurance to cook the books to change the numbers so that it would look like fewer people had been canceled thanks to Obamacare than had in fact been canceled. Now we've obtained the actual email exchanges between the staffers as the senator's office insists to the Kelly file that the numbers were misleading and that's why they had to meddle. Joining us now to talk about it, Colorado Congressman Cory Gardner, a Republican who had his own insurance canceled under Obamacare, and he's now sure. demanding answers from the Colorado Insurance Commissioner. Good to see you, sir. And so what exactly is me. it that, that Senator Udall's office did? Well, apparently when the Colorado Division of Insurance announced that about 250,000 people had lost their insurance in Colorado, meaning they had had their insurance policies because of Obamacare canceled, uh, he started pushing back using his office, using his staff to push back in what was uh, called and described as a very hostile way uh, with these, uh, these employees of the Division of Insurance trying to get them to change the numbers. We, we have the emails um, that that one of the, there's there's a director of external affairs joe donlin she works for the division of insurance in colorado and she wrote uh to internally she said hey senator udall says our numbers were wrong they are not wrong cancellation notices affected 249,199 people they want to trash our numbers i'm holding strong while we get more details uh and then she goes on and then she later writes uh, an email to her colleague saying, following my email, I received a very hostile phone call from Senator Udall's deputy chief of staff. Marguerite is on the phone with the chief of staff right now. Happy Friday. Is yeah. this inappropriate meddling or is this a senator's office just trying to correct what it believes is misleading information? Because they say a lot of those people didn't get totally canceled. They got canceled with a renewal offer. Well, the, the president's promise, if you liked your health care plan, you get to keep it, didn't come with an expiration date. Uh, and that's exactly what we're dealing with. 250,000 Coloradans that had their insurance policies canceled. Now, Senator Udall voted for the health care bill. I understand why he is concerned that this could jeopardize his election in 2014. There's a difference between calling up an office, though, and saying, hey, are these the right numbers, versus a hostile phone call, uh, forcing a Division of Insurance employee to say, we're standing strong. Uh, this was clear an attempt to use an office, to use the staff to pressure a, a public policy maker into changing the numbers uh, of people who have had their insurance canceled. I think it raises a big question about abuse of power. Because the larger picture is the cancellation notices were coming in, because this happened a couple months ago, and the pressure was, was mounting on these Democrats who vote, voted for the law from their, from their home states. Yeah. Why did you vote for it? Why did you say I could keep well, my plan? And at the same and time, so there was some pushback from time, his office exactly. saying the number's not 250,000 cancellations. It is technically, but a lot of those people were off of renewals. But how unusual is it to have a United States Senator's office call up the Division of Insurance and start pushing them to change their messaging. Well, I think it's highly suspect, highly unusual. And while they're trying now to downplay it, saying, well, you know, we were just trying to verify these numbers, at the same time, they were panicking and introducing legislation to try to deal with it in Congress to try to hide the problem that was created by his vote for Obamacare. I think what we're dealing with here is a question of bullying, and we need to get to the bottom of it. Well, uh, Senator U Udall's office says, look, only 13,000 plans were actually canceled without the option to renew, so the 250,000 <laughs> number was misleading. And they say they were basically just correcting the record. Listen, thank you for being here with your perspective. Thanks. Thank you for having me. Thank you.